Andrea is in Des Moines, Iowa. How are you, Andrea? I'm great. Thank you so much for taking my call, David George. Sure. What's up? So my question is, we're in baby step seven, and I was wondering if it's okay or if it's violating the principles to get go back into debt for a mortgage to uh, get a bigger house. So the situation is, um, I've started working again. Our household income went up seventy thousand dollars, so we're at about two hundred thousand dollars annual income. We have a, a net worth of about eight hundred thousand dollars, and our more, our not our mortgage, our primary residence, our only residence is worth three hundred fifty about, and we have a, over our emergency fund about a hundred thousand dollars in savings. And you want to so, move from three fifty um, to what? To about seven fifty or eight hundred. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, our current house is like thirteen hundred square feet plus eleven hundred square feet finished basement, and we have five kids. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, well, there's not a uh, a principle in the Ramsey process or baby steps that prevents you from doing that, as long as the payment's no more than a fourth of your take home pay. Uh, right. on a 15 year fixed. Um, I, I gotta, I gotta share with you the truth. Though. I mean, you make $200,000 a year. Sure. You have a hundred thousand dollars saved. You have 350. So that's 450. Um, 550, 650, 750. You can do this in three years if you just save it. And, um, okay. I, I, would I personally, you know, would you, you delay you, investing for that to save it? Um, I oh. mean, you got, you have an $800,000 net worth at what age? 41. Yeah. You can if you want. I, I I would have to figure it out because I don't borrow money and it would be particularly right. hard for me to go back into debt once I had received personally. This is just a personal observation, not a not a sure. not a not a discussion of the baby steps or the principles. The principles are you can go do it as long as you do it on 15 year. But I just couldn't do right. it emotionally. I just couldn't put myself yeah. back in there. I, 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 I value my freedom more than I do my style of living, standard yeah. of living. See, yeah, that's where we're at. My husband is on team What Would Dave Do, and I'm on team Dave Wouldn't Yell at Me. Yeah. Well, Dave's not going to yell. <laughs> Dave's not going to yell at either one of you. You're rock stars. I mean, you're amazing. Oh, you can't say rock stars anymore after the commercials. But yeah. But anyway, oh. you're, you're amazing. <laughs> you're fabulous. And, and you've done a great job. You're, you've got to. You know, approaching a million dollar net worth, you're making two hundred thousand dollars a year. You got five kids. Everything's paid for. There's no Dave yell at you anywhere. Thank but you. But I just got. To, I would be sad because I just couldn't do it emotionally. Gotcha. I just. It would just. It makes my stomach hurt a little bit thinking about it. And uh, that mortgage would be. We're talking a four hundred thousand dollar mortgage. So that's that's sizable. That's more you know, than your, the house is worth. They put down four hundred after fees. You wait till spring, maybe three hundred, but still. And, but then you could pay it off in three years. That would be the goal. If if they did this move, it would be how fast can we pay this off? Yeah. To put, get back put it to on it. You know, hundred thousand dollars a year because you just increased your household income by seventy the other day. Mm-hmm. So I think you could put a hundred a year on this and st- probably still do investing. But I, I I would have to. And if you were saving to buy, well, how how deep would you sacrifice mm. to save up to pay cash so that you could do it in two and a half years rather than four and a half years? You know, if you just put a little thermometer, a savings thermometer on the refrigerator and you colored it in, right? Made it a big goal. How fast could we get there? Because that's honestly how we do everything. Uh, we can't do it until we can see how we can pay for it because we don't borrow money because I just can't go back to having anything in my mailbox or my inbox that looks like a bank. No more payments. I just can't do it. I just life is too good. I've been free for too long. Mm. I mean, is, is a little bit of slavery okay? Would you yell at me for some slavery? No, I'm not going to yell at you, but I'll be sad for your slavery. Yeah. Well, once you live without that payment, I mean, it's it it's feels not so what good. would Dave do. That's not the point. It's not me. I mean, it's it's you know, why did you do all this work to get to here, and then want to go back after you got here? I just it feels like we're it feels like we're you know you know. I lost 600 pounds. Is it okay to eat a box of donuts? Yeah, but probably not going to give you what you thought it was going to give you, you know? Mm. And it's just um, probably not going to feel good when you finish. You're probably going to wake up with like a sugar hangover. A little regret. Yeah, it could happen. You know, I haven't, I haven't had a drink in 10 years. I used to be an alcoholic, but 
think I'm going to try some bourbon tonight. You know, I mean, I just don't get it. It's, <laughs> it's dangerous. <laughs> it's, I don't <laughs> I don't know if those metaphors play or not. I'm sorry for you people in the addiction field, but yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But there's something there. I just, um, and it's y'all don't need my permission out there or Georgia's permission to do stuff. We're just trying to give you principles and guidelines that are your shortest, best route to a great life of wealth and prosperity. We want you to be there and we want you to stay there when you get there. So I don't know. I, I'm, uh, but yeah, technically we don't tell people, um, if you wanted to go upgrade the house and take on a people, 15 do, people year. do it all the time. They do it all the time and then they turn around, but I got to tell you, you're probably going to hate it so much. You're probably going to go bananas and pay it off really, really fast because it's probably going to drive you, drive you. Which again, if you cuckoo. stay there with five kids, you're going to want to save up really fast to go. We got to upgrade this thing. So yeah. either way it's, it's going to happen. Yeah. I think that's the. That's the way we do it is it, and either what happens is we either get increasingly motivated and cut deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper to get to things sooner or to get to that goal sooner, or we, um, or we get decreasingly motivated and we realize we didn't want it and we abandon the goal. One of the two, the last time we did this that I can remember where we cut at the Ramsey place really, really, really deep, uh, was about, Gosh, I'm trying to think. It's probably 15 years ago when we bought what is Financial Peace Plaza. Oh, yeah, our old headquarters. Our old headquarters. And I bought that building for $5 million, and it was the first time I had bought something that expensive. And there was and, a timeline to that, right? Yeah, and I had I had, to, I had to close it by a certain date. I had an option on it. And if I didn't close it by that date, I was not going to get it. And by the time the date was up, the building was worth $13 million, and I had it tied up at five. Wow. So I had $8 million on the table. That's some incentive. That I was going to walk away from if I didn't come up with the money, but I wasn't willing to borrow it. Man, we, we scratched every nickel out of the corner of the couch. We turned couches upside down and shook them. You did a GoFundMe before it I wasn't mean, cool. I mean, we did everything, and we barely closed on that building. But it wow. was. But I would have walked before I went into debt. I would have walked away from it. You're crazy, Ramsey. <laughs>